What's up everybody? So we've seen Clumsy Bird, we've seen Iron Pants, and here comes another remake called Clumsy Birds. Is it as good as the original? Guess we'll see. Tap to fly. All right. Oh. Well, it seems like a basic concept of it, pretty much. Yep. Okay. It's the same thing, ladies and gentlemen. It's the same exact thing. I mean, there's trees in the background, so that's nice, right? That's cute. Oh my goodness. I feel like we're doing this again. We're doing it. We're doing it all over again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, one. Aww, look at that. Oh, ooh. Five. Wow, I c I'm already gonna bite, beat the record of, okay. I like this already. I love it. You know why I love it? Because it seems easier than Flappy Bird. I'll put that out right now. It seems cool. Um, what I think would be cool is maybe a plot behind the story. Like, why exactly is Clumsy Bird doing this? Like, is there a reason? Just like Flappy Bird. I mean, maybe that's the reason why I hated Flappy Bird so much. What's the reason why Flappy Bird was going through, like, those little tunnel areas? Was it because he wanted to catch up with Mario? What exactly was the plot behind this? It looks like when I talk, I do better, so I'm going to continue talking. Um, I think somebody told me that there is like a little screen thing in the beginning where like there's a dragon like carrying away a, like an egg. So I guess that's cool. That's a plot of some sort. You don't know the reason why, and you don't know why Clumsy Bird is doing this. But I guess with iOS games like this, I guess you don't really need a plot. It's just more for just clicking and if you enjoy like a challenge that's basically why i think this is such an these games are such addicting game it's just like it's a challenge try to beat the other like my brother right now is having a challenge with my uh brother-in-law and they're trying to go at it and right now they're up to like 63 i think in um flappy bird and as you know if you already had the game downloaded on your phone before they took it down then you can still play the game but if you try it now it's impossible because they took it off of all the uh sites so you're not allowed to really play with them but they got remakes like um Clumsy Birds and Iron Pants, and I would not recommend Iron Pants as you might have seen my other uh, tutorial. It's not that fun, but Clumsy Bird, it seems um, all right. It's definitely not as difficult, I don't think, as Flappy Bird. There's definitely a um, ah, rhythm to it that if you start figuring out the rhythm, and I think that's Flappy Birds too. It's just I hated Flappy Birds. There's nothing about it that I enjoyed myself. I mean... I'm not saying like this is like the most magical game ever created or anything. I mean, but as you can see, I'm doing much better and that makes me happy. Um, but if I was to rate this, I would rate it a probably a three out of five. It's an okay game and, it, and it's great for people that have iOS users and have that Flappy Bird addiction that was taken away from them tremendously. So this was definitely next in line, I would say. That's a good game to play. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've played this game. What are your thoughts? Do you enjoy it? Do you not like it? Do you like it better than the uh, Flappy Bird, you hate it. Just give me all your advice and I'd love to respond to you when I can. Let me know of an iOS game that you'd like me to try. I'd love to try it and review it as well. Thank you so much watching for watching this review and I shall see you next time. I'm the real Mickey Mouse. I'm Italian like Mario too. You're not Mario. It's me, Mickey Mouse.